and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. If you need screen printing equipment or supplies, remember that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at CatspitScreenPrintSupply.com and I have a storefront right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So check out my offerings online at CatspitScreenPrintSupply.com. Today is another quick tips video and it's related to one I did just recently. It's another question that I get asked a lot and people will ask, <laughs> um, why does my Plastisol ink stick to the emulsion of another screen? Like if you're printing a multicolor and you print a color down, you flash cure it and you print it again, the Plastisol ink is sticking to the emulsion and ruining your registration. Well, why is that? Most of the time, the reason for Plastisol ink sticking to the back of another screen, sticking to the emulsion, the back side of another screen as you're printing a multicolor on press, um, the reason for that is one of two things. Most commonly, it's simply that the ink is too hot. Okay, so on a rotary press, that means maybe you're doing a very long job and you have aluminum pallets and they're getting very hot over time and you just, you're printing too quickly perhaps and the ink doesn't have time to cool off. So it's gonna stick to the emulsion of any subsequent color screens that you print. Okay, so the other thing that could be causing it is uh, that the ink is not quite flash cured enough. Okay, so sometimes uh, the flash cure is just a little bit less than it should be and it leaves the ink a little bit gooey and tacky and that can be a problem as well. Okay, so obviously to solve that in the first scenario where the ink is too hot, whether it be because you're running, you know, aluminum pallets on a rotary press or maybe you're on a single station press okay and you're running a multicolor on a single station press so that is a challenge to allow right one station so you have to wait between colors to let the uh, ink cool off and let the palette cool off because that's the solution when the ink is too hot from flash curing then you want to cool it off you want to allow it to cool before you print the next color and that way it will not stick to the back of the screen, ruining, ruining you know, your registration and everything, right? Okay, um, in the second scenario, where you have semi-cured or, or not, uh, not semi-cured, but like gelled, it's just gelled Plastisol ink. It's not quite semi-cured actually, because in flashing, that's what we're looking for, right? A semi-cure, not a full cure, but a semi-cure, okay? so. If your ink after the cure, if your ink is a little bit gooey and tacky after it cools off even, that means that it's not quite semi-cured or flashed, so to speak. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. In the first scenario where the ink is too hot, you need to allow it to cool off. In the second scenario where the ink is not quite flash cured enough, you need to increase your flash time a little bit and allow the ink to cool off <laughs> okay so that's it all right that's it's as simple as that very easy to fix if you're on a rotary press maybe not so easy to fix if you're on a single station press but not impossible that's all i have for you today thanks a lot for watching i've been working really hard to improve the focus quality of the videos so that autofocus doesn't goof up anymore and the exposure should hopefully be a little bit better, not being so flat and uh, hazy looking sometimes, you know? So I've been working really hard on that, and if you enjoy my videos, please remember to create a YouTube account and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it is very, very important to support the continued production of these free screen printing videos right here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.